Welcome back everyone. My name is Davin Reddy and in this video we'll see how to install Jupyter Notebook and how to use it. And what exactly Jupyter Notebook is. Now one of the way you can install Jupyter is by installing Anaconda. So in fact in the last video we have done that so if you have not seen that video you will find that video in the description area. The amazing thing is when you install Anaconda it will give you Jupyter Notebook. So you can see the moment you install it and when you open Anaconda Navigator it has an option of Jupyter Notebook here. You can simply click on launch. So it will take some time to launch it and this is how your Jupyter Notebook looks like. Now, when you want to work with Python, there are different IDs available, right? We can use PyCharm, we can use uh, the Spider IDE which is provided by Anaconda or you can also try it on Jupyter. So for learning purpose, Jupyter is awesome. Uh, the amazing thing is you can experiment some stuff and you can also document the things instead of writing comments. What I'm talking about is you can simply click on new and if you click on, let's say if you want to get a notebook for Python 3, in fact, Jupyter also works with different ID, different languages like R and different languages. So here you can type your code. But again, we will do this, but then how do we install this? Maybe you don't want to install Anaconda because it is heavy. So how do we install Jupyter without Anaconda? It's very simple actually. You can click here and you can search for Jupyter Notebook. It will take you to the official website. In fact, the first link itself is official website. Click on this. Now this is where you can try Jupyter Notebook. The amazing thing is it gives you an option of trying it on browser. Maybe you don't want to install it. So you can also try it on browser. So let me just open that a new tab. Okay, so it will ask you for which language you want to work with. Do you want to work with Python or do you want to work with R, C++? Uh, let's go with Python because that's what we are doing in this course. In fact, Jupyter Notebook is same as IPython. So let's open that. So you can see this is how your Jupyter Notebooks looks like. Since this is an application which run online, it does take some time to open it. So by the time you know it, it gets open, let's go back to Jupyter Project and you can install Notebook from here. So you can simply click on install. Now there are different ways of doing this. One way you can do it from Anaconda, which is recommended. So they say, hey, you want to use Jupyter Notebook, just install Anaconda. The advantage is in Jupyter Notebook, maybe you want to use certain libraries like NumPy or Pandas. You don't want to install them separately on using PIP, right? You can simply use Anaconda. They will give you all those libraries. You can use it. But still, you know, if you don't want to use it, if you don't want to go with that way, it's quite simple. You can execute this command on your command line, provided you have Python installed and provided you have path set. Okay. So, okay. So we'll do that, but you can see this is loaded now. This is how your Jupyter looks like. You can try online stuff. You can do the same thing, which we will be doing after installation but that's your choice. You can install it or you can try online. Now, since we want to install it, I will go back to my command prompt. So let's open CMD and this is what the command we have to execute. So we can simply copy this or we can type it. So I will say Python 3. First of all, let me verify do I have Python. Oh, it says I don't have Python, maybe Python 3. Okay, so that means in my machine, I don't have a path set or maybe I don't have a Python in installed. So I guess Python is installed. It's just that the path is not set. Let me just do that quickly. So as you can see, I have installed Python using Anaconda. Of course, if you have a different setup, you just have to set the path. So I will set the path for Anaconda like this one instead of setting the path for the actual Python, which I don't have in this machine. So you can do that. You can install Python separately and you can set that path. Don't set the Anaconda path there. So when I say set the path, I have to go to environment variables and I can create a path here. I can say new. Let me paste it. Click on OK. Apply. So I guess the path has been set for Anaconda. Let's verify. I will just restart my CMD and let's try Python. Okay, now you can see we got Python here. Now I can execute that command. That's great. Let me say CLS, clear that. So open the browser, open CMD so that you can map and you can type the command now. Since I'm working with Python directly, so you don't have to mention Python 3. I guess Python 3 works now. Let's uh, stick to Python. Try both. Let's see what works on your machine. Okay, so I will say Python hyphen M PIP install. You can upgrade your PIP first or you can directly install Jupyter. I guess you can directly install Jupyter and you can see it takes a lot of time to install. The only thing is in my machine I already have Jupyter. That's why you can see it says already installed, already installed. But that's the only step you have to do. If you don't have Jupyter, simply say that it will install Jupyter in your machine. It also recommends you to upgrade your PIP. So yes, you can execute the first command and then you can go for second command. That perfectly works. So once you got Jupyter, you can simply open Jupyter by saying Jupyter Notebook. 
Now, once you say that, oh, we got an error, again, you have to set the path for this. The thing is, when you install Jupyter this way, it will set the path automatically, so don't worry. So when I did with on another machine, it was working. You don't have to set the path for this. So as I mentioned, you don't have to set the path. You just have to say Jupyter Notebook. It will open. So it will open a browser like this, okay? You might be getting a different protocol here. Port number, you might be getting four eights. But since I guess in my machine, there was some conflict. So it went for the next port number available, which is eight nine. This is how you will get the page. Now, this is where you can execute your command. Example, I can simply say print and I can print hello world. Let's do that. And then how do we execute this? So you can see we have a run command here. You can click this and you got the output is hello world. Otherwise, you can also try two plus three. Now, there are two ways you can execute this. You can click on run here or you can simply say shift enter. Shift enter is a shortcut to run this command. That's one way. But what if you want to do complex code? You can type the entire code here. It works. Now, what if you want to do documentation? You want to write some documentation here. So in that case, you can see we have a drop down menu here. You can select markdown. If you want to write some text, you can say my code starts here. Now this will become my, okay, so it's simply say shift enter. Now this is my documentation, right? You can also change colors. There are different ways of doing that. What if you want to write headings? You can do that. So you can see we have headings here. You can also set headings format here. So it gives you so many options. By default, it will give you code. You can also say again, heading, and then I can say second heading. And then this is how you can create all the documentation and you can create markdowns, you can run it. So there's so many options, as I mentioned, you can insert new cell on top. You can do that. You can create, uh, you can have, there are, there are so many options, you can just try it out. So this is how you use Jupyter. Again, we'll be doing some code on this. Let's see if I can start with Panda series. Uh, let me know if you're excited about Panda series because I'm planning to do that. We can create some charts. We can see some magic happening on the screen. You know, some visualization because that's what the world is moving now. That's the reason I started working on Jupyter now. But tell me if you're excited so that I can do it quickly. I know you're waiting for the advanced part, but are you waiting for pandas? Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. That's how you use Jupyter. That's how you install Jupyter. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye.